Vinny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call the Cascading Rock Pound. Now this is actually seven pieces total. Uh, your three main water bowls, you've got a water bowl, then you have a middle section here where the water kind of cascades out of that, and then of course your top bowl. Water does come in in two places. It kind of comes down here, meets in the middle, flows out, flows down into that. Um, pretty easy to set up. Uh, it's just basically a self-contained unit, so no barrier in the basement in the ground, although you could do that. Uh, if you wanted to be able to take advantage of this disappearing fountain system, let us know. We can modify this to work on one of those in ground systems, so you can let us know about that if you have any questions. Now, you do have a bottom drain right here, so you can unscrew that plug right there. That'll that old up will drain this uh, bottom section. Middle section does not have a drain on it, uh, so wintertime you might want to consider that. If you live in winter climates and you want to be able to drain this, you might ask us about that. Uh, we can drill and put a plug in that for you. Uh, it'll be additional charge, but it's not a whole lot. And if you want to be able to drain that, it's certainly worth it. Uh, you want to cover it in the winter. You don't want in, water is your enemy in the freezing thawing cycle. So uh, when you shut them down in the winter, if you're covering it or whatever you're doing, just make sure it stays dry. And we do have information about that on our uh, info page's website. Uh, lighting video over there too. If you want to see what lighting do, actually we can work this out so that light would come in here, kind of illuminate that pool. Uh, shine up on this right here. It'd be a really neat effect. Probably put your light over here to shine right up that way. It looks really neat at night. Uh, this being a, a, a seven section fountain, uh, we will have information on how to assemble this. So you, uh, you'll you be able to find that information. Uh, just ask us about that. We have it set up here. We changed the way that maybe it was a little bit intended to be. It was intended to be what's called an inline pump. Uh, what that means is uh, your pump's not actually in the water. It goes back, uh, with the place for it to go back under, uh, and then the water just it draws it in from the pool, which is okay. Uh, I, though, wanted to put it, I modified it. So I put the pump right here. Now, the reason I did that, I wanted to be able to get the de clean debris off very easy. I want to be able to clean that debris off. If your pump is right here, it's as simple as reach down there and grab it and throwing it out. If it gets stuck to the front of your pump, you can take it off easily like that. If it's in line, then down, it'll be down underneath this, so you're not going to be able to get to the pump easy. What you would do is we could put a piece of like a screen over this right here where the intake hole is to keep the debris from getting into the pump that's back, located back under. So either way is fine. I tend to like things simple. Uh, if you want to cover this pump, just basically put a rock over it or something like that. So it makes it uh, a little easier to, to maintain in my opinion. But we can put it in line. We can set it up however you want it set up. Uh, if we do set it up in line, we're going to include that screen, uh, the piece of mesh that will actually go over that to keep that debris from getting back into the pump. Right now, I'll grab the camera and take a close-up look. This is cast stone, and we do have our finish over it. Which is an acid-based finish. It's got a nice sound to it. You kind of hear that trickling water sound there, especially in that top section. Get back here from it a little bit. You can kind of see those legs there holding the pool up. Go to the back side there. You kind of see how it kind of fits together. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach us at 540-948-2239 or email me boulderfountain at gmail.com.